Good afternoon from Miami BTB. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Now, over the last few months, you've been asking me about uh, the Arab family. Allegedly one of the greatest, powerful, um, Greek Cypriot, Turkish, I can't remember which, uh, organisation, criminal organisations of all time coming from that community. Uh, Dennis, Duggan, etc, etc, uh, were big, powerful names in the Ks and also outside as well. Now, we know the Brinks map, because uh, you lot were saying the other day, come on, Yami, give us a bit more on Mickey McAvoy, if you get what I mean. But what I can tell you is that during this time, uh, there were a lot of fallouts, like we know already, over the Brinks map job. Uh, during such times, uh, trust uh, on almost anybody that took part in that job uh, weren't happy with each other. So there used to be certain men that used to get people like me to stand up in phone queues and listen out when certain men were on phones to see if they were talking about this and talking about that. That's the kind of paranoia that that life and those kind of crimes can bring, if you get what I mean. Now, during this time as well, um, Kenny used to... But it used to be known that they used to say, you know, that he used to sit on the fence a bit and drink tea with the Arabs while all this stuff was going on um, with all the organisations falling out with each other, not really getting along. Now, there was a geezer called Peter Hennessy. Peter Hennessy, I think, um, when he got out, sadly, died. There was talk that it might be over the Arabs, uh, over some gold and whatnot and that kind of stuff. But I don't believe it was over that, if you get what I mean. Uh, but I know there were rumblings and mumblings about who was having it with who and how, how you can sit around the table with him and that kind of stuff. Now, we also know uh, that being hitmen, there's just certain powerful figures that you could never dream of doing a hit on, right? So this one was a bit of a surprise because, you know, many, many great hitmen over the years from that life would never of taking a hit out on the Arifs, if you get what I mean. But there's always exceptions to the rules. Now, during this time, there was a geezer called Smitherman. Now, we've heard quite a lot of Smitherman on other videos and that kind of stuff, right? Now, he used to walk around in women's clothes. Uh, I'm convicted of a horrendous crime involving a young girl. Um, used to come on normal location, didn't seem to care. But also used to like a bit of gear and be up for hits, if you get what I mean. There was another geezer called Terry Payne, but don't quote me on this, right? Um, sorry, excuse me. Don't don't quote me on this because uh, my memory, uh, the recollection of this. Uh, but I believe Terry Payne was there uh, during this time. And believe it or not, they took, not they took, sorry, Smitherman and somebody else took the hit out on the Arifs, right? So allegedly run up on a couple of the Arifs and poked them a few times and legged it. Uh, so in some ways, believe it, uh, this is what I believe. They got their own selves caught, if you get what I mean, got moved on to another wing and the Arifs got moved off the Isle of Wight. And I never saw them until years later in Maidstone, all right? So they went missing after that. And what I'm trying to say to you is that sometimes in that life, nobody is untouchable. All you have to do is get uh, the nutters who at the time, a bit like me, but, you know, in certain places where I would never, ever dream of treading, if you get what I mean, because you can get killed in there or killed out there, uh, if you get what I mean. But, yeah, that story is very, very true. And Smitherman and someone else uh, who I've mentioned already, I believe, uh, run up on the Arabs, poked him a few times and legged it and moved off the wing. So that's a story. I'm going to give you more stories about the Arabs, of course. Uh, but to me, Mickey McAvoy was one of the most powerfulest men in his own right. So you think about Ray Betts and with brains and that kind of stuff. Um, along with uh, the other stuff I talked about the other day with Mickey McAvoy. Uh, Mickey McAvoy uh, was like 10, 20 fold of Ray Betson with brains as well, if you get what I mean. But 
I put the great Mickey McAvoy uh, somewhere in that life, if you get what I mean, um, as one of the most powerfulest men that ever existed. Coming up in a minute, um, something completely different. Sending loads of love. 